Right now, there's a lot of new people investing, uh, but if you ever find yourself investing on your own outside of a service like Robinhood or Coinbase that will keep track of your investments, you're kind of left in the dark to keep your own records. Today, I'm going to recreate a spreadsheet that I use to track individual investments. This spreadsheet setup will work in Microsoft Excel, LibreOffice Calc, Google Sheets, Excel Online, and just about anywhere else where you can have a spreadsheet that performs automatic basic calculations and will work great with anything from cryptocurrencies to precious metals and just about anything else you can invest in. My goal in this video is to show a setup that you can simply copy and paste everything that I type and in order to recreate the spreadsheet by yourself. And if this sounds interesting, you can continue ahead. Just be warned, I have no script beyond this point. Okay, so I have the, uh, at least the headers all set. So you know, you have the date where you made the purchase the amount of the asset you bought, the price that you paid for it, the uh, price that you sell it at uh, once you actually sell it, the value at which the asset is priced when you bought it, a quick a quick column for a uh, comment, uh, a calculation of how much you gain when you actually sell it, which is basically how much money ultimately is in your bank account after all this is over, and a current value cal calculation. You also have the current price of the asset. So let's start out here. Uh, say you buy a test asset and you buy one of them. Uh, you paid $1 for it. You haven't sold it yet. And its value when you bought it is $1. It'll leave the comment clear. And then let's just add another quick, at, quick one in. Another test one. Uh, you bought one. Its price is still one. You haven't sold it yet or sorry uh, let's say you actually you bought it at 1.1 1 .1, $1 dollars let's say um, actually let's just quick format this um, change this, this to currency so that so that it's a little bit easier to recognize so that I don't mess up because I don't have a script here um, Oh, and its value is still one dollar and let's add a third one in another test uh, add you bought one again but this time you bought it at 90 cents haven't sold it yet even though its value is still a dollar so now here comes the slightly technical stuff it's just telling Excel or or Li LibreOffice Calc or whatever else you're using as a spreadsheet to perform a calculation so in this case, you're performing the total value that has come in or out of your bank account. So, oops, hold on, I'm stuck in my cheat sheet here. So this, see this, you paid 90 cents for it and you haven't sold it. So now you've paid so now you effectively have 90 cents outside of your bank account. However, the investment gains right here performs a calculation based on the value of the current price. So now here's the current value right in here. Let's say the current price is still $1. So see that? You've made 10 cents. Now we're going to be sneaky here. Instead of retyping the calculation, you can just grab this and pull it down and Excel will automatically add everything in for you. So see here, the current price is $1. You paid $1, you have a net gain or loss of nothing. You paid over a dollar for something worth a dollar. Now you lost about 10 cents and you paid less than a dollar for something worth a dollar. So you gain 10 cents. And so, and then if we add another one in here, you buy another one in for you know, say a dollar. You haven't sold it yet. Uh, its value is still a dollar. No comment. Now again, we can do this and automatically calculate for every new investment you make. And then, say you do sell it. So let's just say, let's say you sell it for a dollar and ten cents. Now see this. Now you've suddenly, now instead of holding the asset and having the value in the asset, now you've sold it and you've earned 10 cents and that'll tell you exactly how much you've earned. Um, and you can also modify the current price. So let's say this test asset goes up from, 
$1 to $3. Now, suddenly, just by entering in the price manually, you can see the value gained of each individual asset that you, that you purchase. Sorry, I'm pointing at the screen, not realizing that you can't actually see that. But yeah, so as you can see my mouse moving, you've actually you've calculated the new value of at least the new value of all your of all of your gains uh, right here. So this is my quick little setup. Um, like I said, it'll work in LibreOffice Calc, or it'll work in Google Sheets, or Excel, or Excel Online, or just about anything else you'll use. Um, it's just pretty simple spreadsheets, so it should work just about everywhere where you can have a spreadsheet. Um, I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.